the chipper shredder I've been using was pretty heavy duty, but not quite heavy duty enough, evidently. It's been falling apart slowly as I've been using it. Literally, some pieces have been falling off. I took the chipper shredder in to possibly have it repaired again, but really, the kind of shape it's in now, it's better to just upgrade to something a little more heavy duty. The shop is called Aaron's Honest Engine, and Aaron happens to have what might be a better chipper shredder for me out at his house. He doesn't live too far away, so I'm gonna go pick it up if it looks like it's a good one for me. And I've already dropped off the old machine at his shop so he can possibly repair it and sell it to somebody else. These pieces I'm gonna give back to him, so if he wants to reattach those, he can, or maybe he'll just need to buy new parts. I don't know what he's gonna do with it. Anyway, we don't have a whole lot of daylight right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and feed the goats real quick and then head over there. Everybody gets a little taste. Okay, that's enough. You can have a little bit too. Yes, you can have a little bit too. Okay, okay, that's enough. Yep, out. I don't know if Aaron is going to want to be on camera. So I may or may not get any footage when I'm out there picking up the chipper shredder. Well, almost. I can almost get it in there. Oh, wait. Come on. Come on, goats. There you go. Here, solid, 15 foot tall. Oh place. my gosh, I hate blackberries. I... Yeah, it, it, it is crazy, crazy. And he, this is the guy that had the skull and crossbones, the turn back now, do not enter. Okay. You know, he, he had no family, no friends, no nothing. And uh, so, but he wasn't a bad person though, he was just... Well, look at this setup you have here. This is nice. Yeah, this is, the, this is, uh, that's uh, Nancy, or uh, yeah, Nellie, Nancy, Bach, and um, Laura, Mary. And you got him in with the chickens. Look at that. Yeah, yeah they, the chickens bug the crud out of the out of the goats. They're pretty funny that way. Has uh, Banjo been good to your goats and chickens? So you want to see the craziest thing ever? Watch this. this Let's is, find this out is, what so happens. Watch, wait, wait, Banjo and Bach have this game. Have this oh, game there they go. Play. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's how. That's how Bach <laughs> and Banjo play. And they're, they're funny though. I, I don't let him do it a whole lot because I'm worried about his horn breaking yep. and, uh, and Banjo's teeth. Hey Banjo, look at Hey, 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 no barking, Bach. You got some big goats. Mary, uh, yeah, Mary is the daughter of this one. Laura, unfortunately, just passed away. Mm -hmm. um, she was the daughter of this one. And then Bach, he's a weathered, weathered male. He's much older. And I got these guys to keep him company. And when I got him, these, these guys came pregnant. So mm -hmm. we had two babies. And, so I used to have five goats and 10 chickens. Now we got four goats. Ten chickens. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. Cool. That's funny, dude. The, the chickens stay in here. Some of them stay in here at, at night, mostly just the ostrichers. Yeah. Stay with the goats at night time. Banjo, hey, listen, lighten up. 
<laughs> Goofy. But yeah, this is this is a, this is one crazy place to come across out here. Do you find the um, the hay just keeps it less muddy for them, or uh... you know, I, I've just started using this gazebo this year, and I put the sides up on it for the ghosts uh, for when it rains and stuff. It gives them a place to hang out, you know, be, still be outside without being in their little sleeping box. Uh, now, now they've just kind of adopted this, and this is just a little bit. Uh, but I take the, the the hay out of there about once a week or ish. And just throw it out here. I, I use it to keep, keep it from being real super mucky, and it yeah. works okay. Yeah. It's not really great. It's uh, it does break down pretty quickly, a lot faster than straw. Mm -hmm. uh, but it works good. You know, we do the same thing with the chicken. The chicken's got a little pan on the other side over there. Yeah. But some of them sleep in there. But some of them just they they lay eggs in the goat the, in the goat feeders. Yep. <laughs> yep. They look like nest boxes. <laughs> so they, these girls are really friendly. Really, really super super. Friendly. And I got these yes. from a lady out in. Uh, yeah, going towards Banjo, about to Highway 6, going towards the coast. Banjo, listen, come on, dude, why not? And uh, she made me agree not to eat them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. said, there's no way. They're, they're going to be pets. They'll be well taken care of. Good. They, Good. they spent their first half of their life being milk goats. Now they got the last half to be animals. What kind of goats are they? Uh, these are uh, La Mancha. La La Manchas. La Manchas. Banjo, stop. Listen, come here, come here, no, Banjo. Banjo. <laughs> Banjo, it's okay. So Bach was Pat's main goat, and that Bach, or Pat used to sleep out here with Bach, with Bach mm -hmm. his, in the original goat pen. That's where I found him after he passed away. But so that was his buddy, and he's you can see, how, see they're definitely not hurting for food. Oh yeah, yeah, they're chickens well taken care happy. of. Chickens are real happy, healthy chickens. We get good good amount of eggs every day. Well, these are nice goats. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're really cool. They're 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 super sweet. It was it was heartbreaking when when Laura got 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 had to be put down. But she got hung up on a fence and. Yeah, you told me about that. It was horrific. Yeah. This is it. It's cool to see a new operation, new new to me. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, it, it's it's definitely when I first came in here, I figured it'd be about a ten year project. Mm -hmm. And now uh, we're on year two, and. Yeah. So yeah, that, making, uh, making progress. Yeah, you can still, still see every bit of 10 years ago, but it, it, you know, we make forward progress every day, and that's all you can do. There you go. It was really fun for me to visit Aaron's place. Seeing that he's pushing back the blackberries, establishing areas for animals in the garden. He's right about the process taking years. There will be mistakes and disappointments along the way. There certainly have been for me, but he's jumping in with both feet. If you want to do something, do something. We'll definitely be visiting his place again sometime when we have more time to really see his operation. One thing I've noticed, any trees that are in with the goats? Yeah. Yes, they rub the crud out of them. They'll be, they'll be eaten. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they chew on the bark sometimes. Not yeah. a whole solo whole out of the bark, but they just do occasionally. I've seen these guys eat shingles. <laughs> yeah, goats, goats. They're funny. They get a funny taste for something. They just want to scratch their horns and their sides and chew yeah. on anything that they can reach. I'm looking for one of those big uh, like driveway brushes. You know, the scrub brushes things, kind of like brown and maybe four feet long or five mm. feet long. Mm. Yeah, oh, so like, they can use that to rub against. Yeah, I think that they would like it. Started my little worm, worm bin. Yeah, it's, yeah, uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, that's just a, it's a, it's a trial and process in, pro in progress. And uh, I think the last freeze killed the last of our, the, killed the worms that I put in there. Yeah. I think, but I'm not sure. Yeah, and always projects going on. It looks yeah. like. Yeah, we're still halfway through this, and right now we're just using gray water only for the for the for the, for the sewer line because we're not completed on it. But we're mm -hmm. close. We're, I mean, we're we're getting there. Mm -hmm. Now that we got finally get, got permission from PGE and. Keep on digging. I got found rocks the size of cars out there. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And you're able to dig those out? One of them, I cannot, I can move it with my backhoe a little bit. I barely move it, but I'm afraid of it doing damage to it. So we're trying to cut it in half. And that's been an adventure in itself, too. Man. Yeah. All the rest of them, I've been able to man manipulate them out of the ditch and then onto the side. And then I can push them with the, uh, with the bucket side of it. Mm -hmm. and push them out of the I forgot to mention, this is Aaron okay. of Aaron's Honest Engine. Right on. I am absolutely blessed to have this guy do all of my small engine repair. He's He's got that talent. You're definitely one of my most seen customers. <laughs> <laughs>
So this is the yeah, sugar shooter. This is our machine. Okay, so here's the on switch. Just flip that, that down is on. Mm -hmm. um, it does have a safety right here, and I did have the safety pop off on me a few times and kind of made me pull my hair. So you might maybe want to put a longer string on there, possibly, but the safety has to be on there for it to run. Okay. Like that. Okay, so that just uh, it just pushes on, it, on yeah. off. Yeah. So in case you, this thing comes off for whatever reason, it shuts it off. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't eject the material. And this thing has this thing. It has a wicked amount of vacuum power. Oh, it's also a vacuum. Does power. does this um. So it sprays the. No, this is this is the this is the vacuum intake. I okay. forgot it even had this feature on it when hmm. I was talking to you about it before. Um, this is your chipper. That's your, that's your exhaust on, on, on that side of it for the, okay. for the debris. And oh, we're gonna fire it up and we'll use it here too. Sure. Um, that's the intake, and then they has got a drive system on it. So yep. I'll set this. Now the ones I've had before have had a, a bin for like pine cones. I do a lot of yeah. shredding of pine cones. Yeah. And uh, and then one for. This should Sticks. do everything. This is just really everything, well. everything. Everything goes in there. Yep, yep. Everything goes in there. It's got big, great, monster, big chipping chipper blades on it. So, it's up for you. so uh, here's a, I put a fuel valve on it. You should try to use that when you're not when you're not running it. Leave, leave that off. That's that's on. That's off. Okay. Turn so, it parallel to go. Yeah. Yeah. It's just in line there. So we'll start up here. And, and is there like a choke and a? Yeah. This is the choke. I just set the choke. Okay. Full yeah. choke. Well, this machine is definitely better than my last one. Our last question for it was, would it fit in the van? It rolled up the ramp pretty well here, and it just clears right here. The handle is a little bit tall. So he's gonna grab a tool, and we're gonna see if we can't loosen the nuts to fold that handle down. If I can get it in and out of the van easy enough, this is definitely the way to go for me, at least the, the tool that I want to use. That handle did fold down enough to fit in the back of the van. Behind me are the branches I'll be testing the chipper on. We don't really need... We don't really need any more bark mulch right around here. So I'll be moving those branches out by the compost bins to add to my surplus mulch pile. You don't need to watch me do that. So instead, here's a clip from earlier out at Aaron's shop. I'm down here at Aaron's Honest Engine this is his business. It's in Gladstone, Oregon. I highly recommend if anybody needs any lawnmower or other small engine repair, definitely come down here. His work is excellent and his prices are also very excellent. I already talked to him. We're gonna go up and take a look at that old chipper just to see in how bad a shape it was when we finally decided to upgrade to a new one for me. Banjo, good to see you again too. Okay, so it looks like a, a couple of the flails that came loose on this thing and that's what knocked it out of balance. And it's really, it's just, you know, this is probably a little bit under undersized for what for, for what you're using for or, mm -hmm. or for what you're needing. So that's where we made a good job the last one. But um, yeah, a couple of your flails broke, broke loose in there and then once that becomes out of balance, it just shakes itself to death. And it'll yeah. just completely shake every nut and bolt out of it and rip itself in half pretty much. What scared me was to have this this part here actually come all off the yeah, throttle yeah, it, and everything else. Yeah, because it's just shaking so bad, it just sheared the bolts right off. My gosh. Yeah. So, did you get a chance to use the, 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 the treadmill? Not yet. Okay. Hopefully, next week I'll yeah. be able to do that. Cool. I've got sticks ready to go. So, right on. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll give you a sharpening. I'll give you a sharpening, you know, next time you need one. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because you definitely seem to do a lot of shipping. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do like shipping the, the branches that come down in our place. All right, thanks, man. Hey, thank you. Yeah, yeah have a good, good, good rest of your day, Yeah, like I said, Aaron's Honest Engine, Gladstone, Oregon. Definitely keep him, him in mind. <clears throat> Everything's set up. I've got my temporary backstops in place. I don't have a lot of pine cones, but there's enough here to see how this machine handles it as I pour them in at different rates. Among the branches that I have are some that are too big for my old chipper shredder and some that I think are still too big for this one. I'm looking forward to seeing how this machine handles it. It did all of the branches that I could have wanted it to do. There was practically nothing that it couldn't handle. Unfortunately, the pine cones didn't work so well. They quickly clogged up the machine. So that's too bad. So that's too bad. I really do like chipping and shredding those pine cones for certain applications out here. This machine is also a little bit different from my other one in that the spray of the bark mulch kind of goes all around the machine rather than just spraying out in one direction. So I'll have to kind of get used to, used to that, but this is definitely an improvement and I'm happy to have this machine. <laughs> 